Hello, welcome. We're uh, back doing uh, episode three of the Vulcan build. Um, as you remember before, we had our cockpit painted um, and we have our seats that are partially sort of done in here. I've just got a little more uh, colour to add to them. Um, not exactly sure but we'll uh, I'll bring the camera down in a second um, as always I have not brought the I have not got the stuff out that I needed um, right so I'm gonna pause it a minute while I get the paints ready and when we come back we'll drop the camera down and we'll get started so back in a sec so um, welcome back I know uh, I said we would be focused down here now and we will be in a minute uh, but one of the things I wanted to go through first is how um, I, I work with my paints now I, 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 I've only got the uh, Humbrol mini pots I've got a big box full of them but I don't really want to go skirting through all that half the time some of them are duff and um, you know I, I, don't, I just don't like them that much um, so what I tend to do is I've got an app on my phone um, which we're going to go through now I'm going to connect it up to the computer and hopefully you're going to be able to see it on the screen um, so here we go uh, first of all I'm going to um, minimize this screen uh, we're not minimize it make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to bring up uh, this screen now have I I've got to put screen capture on so um, bear with me while I turn screen capture on so we're going to two and we're going to put uh, screen capture display one and there we are right we're on two you should see now uh, my screen which is great and what I'm going to do is uh, just minimize this screen now so uh, maybe I can move that over a bit if I can just uh, it's gonna I just want to make that screen a little bit um, Oh, it just doesn't want to play today, does it? Right, I'm just going to have to slide it off like that um, and bring up what should be my phone screen. You should see that. Um, and just so that I can monitor it, I'm going to keep that down there. Oh, it says I may be having... Right, okay, we're there, we're there, we are there. I'm just going to make sure that screen stays on. Um, right, so uh, what you need to look for, uh, you need to go to the Android um, Play place, the, the, the Play app, and you need to download an app called Paint Rack. Um, if we just go through here, you will find Paint Rack just there. In, on my phone you will anyway and then that brings you up like this so I've got my instruction manual out and what you do is you find the paint you're after in this case I am after uh, number 26 so we'll put number 26 in and then that should return a list of all the paints in all the different brands that are number 26 or have a 26 in them um, I can see uh, from if I go back a minute um, oh, it's horrible font I've got to sort this out uh, but 26 is enamel matte um, can I not change that horrible font um, no it's not notifications 
So quick settings. It used to be a tiny little. Will that do it? No. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, you get the idea. So 26. Um, it also tells me that I don't have number 26, which is um, a car key. Right. So um, there's loads of car keys out there. So you click on the one that you want. And then you go over to your tools and it brings up this. You look down here and these are all the, all the paint manufacturers and you basically then it'll give you their colors that are closest to this which is the color you're asking for um, and then you just go through them if it will let me oh man we had this trouble before oh there it is there we go, so we've got all clad, nothing there. All clad two again. Oh no, not that. Tamiya, nothing. Army Painter, nothing. AK Interactive, nothing. Um, so again, this is only as accurate if your paints are all up to date i'm sure mine are but there's so many different ranges um acrylic matte khaki oh you know i wouldn't have even said that was a khaki color myself but um oh was there one there okay come on i know i've got an ammo one somewhere ammo right that's a silvery that's a metallic one so that's no good so what i'm going to do now instead of that i'm going to go back to the um tools these are the list of paints by the way that are currently covered in this uh app it does update fairly regularly and we've got all the others there Steinal res has been added recently um and you can specify there's your revels um i'll take 18 mil off because i don't use that brand and and you just go through like that so to um get to where i want to be now let's go back um color tools so this time i'm going to look for um khaki and it should bring up everything i've got or everything there is out there with the word khaki in and we just scroll down and i'm just looking for if it's a solid circle then it means it's in my library of paints there we go there's a khaki green um uh khaki green british well it, it is british so i'm i'm going to trust that color over the the humbrol one i think um i'm beginning to think i might might not have redone this since my phone was changed no there's one as well it's khaki that's more of a green one so yeah right so i know now i need the khaki green number three and it is an ammo one excellent so i can write next to that color now um khaki and then basically you just go through all your colors because on the on the humbro instructions they don't actually give you a list of the colors on in your booklet that i've seen um, sometimes on the picture at the back they'll do like a block um, they'll do the main colors but um, i haven't seen them you know put a list at the beginning of the book before again similarly occasionally they will um, no i think actually always they do put them on the side of the box 
um, but not all of them just the main ones so there we go so that's how I um, work with my colors uh, it's much more intuitive on the phone with the touch screen it's um, quite frankly it's quite horrible um, to work on on this with a mouse um, yeah it doesn't seem to work half as good so uh, there we go that's how I uh, do my paints so let's get back to it um, I'll just shut these down uh, exit Samsung decks yep and we'll bring this one back up we'll go back to display one and there we go we're back excellent so now then uh, I'm gonna shut down not shut down I'm gonna shut the laptop computer so we can reposition the reposition the camera ready for what we got to do next so I'm gonna put that roughly about there just pop that to one side a minute and bring this light in a bit so we've got a bit more light and there we go so I hope that helps some of you if you have problems with your paints and finding different ones um, as I say it's called paint rack and uh, it will help you find your closest available paint I should point out you can also use it to order paints now through Amazon um, and you can make a shopping list in there as well uh, right there's so much more you can do but um, we'll leave it at that for now may, may do a proper thing one day so these are the chairs this is the seat there and the seat back okay so let's let's uh now then Kirky 26 I've got there so I've got buff for the 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 mm, very tiny they are very difficult to look at um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to paint that uh, uh, right, I'm just trying to think because I've got to be realistic here nobody's going to see it once there you, you're just not going to see it so I'm I'm not going to bother with all the fancy it's too small uh, too small for me to worry about I will paint these uh, I've already done these seats and I've done them in the wrong color um, I've, I've sort of done a what color do they say a yellow that's definitely not a yellow um, I think we'll do the back of the seats like a buff color and then at least then we've got a little bit of difference if somebody is going to um, pick it up and stick their eyeball right up to the uh, the uh, cockpit now then let me get a decent brush uh, we need one that's a good good quality and it needs to be a fairly small one to be honest actually I may where's them micro brushes would that be any good for this might be a bit of a waste to be honest let's have a look no they're a waste that's just wasting them let's just use a small brush uh, we're going to use a double zero double zero from uh, Italeri very nice brush I use these a lot and I, 
I want some... And I want that. I have some self leathering thinner. That's been out too long now for that to system to work. So just give me a second. We'll give it another shake up. Open that. Losing a lot of the, the paints are drying out for quite clear quickly for some reason. So I'm just uh, throwing a bit of uh, leveling thinner in there. And I might need a pair of tweezers for this just so that I can hold and see at the same time. I probably could have done them belts thinking about it, but um, let's just um, get them on there like that. Again, I'm not too worried at all about you know how it looks. probably put a uh, contrast wash over the uh, belt here it's I'm gonna let that dry let that dry as I say I might put a contrast wash over the belts just to help them stand out a little bit same here We might need to zoom in a little bit, I think. Uh, there we go. Should be a little bit better, I hope. My eyes ain't are not great, I apologise. Leave that at that because you don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, right, where's the uh, little pot gone? Now oh, I've lost my. I have lost my. Oh, there it is. Kitchen towel. Right. Let's um, put that back in there. bit of a shake as well. Right, there's our... That is our panel we done. Um, let me just show you. If I can... That's our panel. Oop. Oh yeah, we need to... There we go, that's how that turned out. 
which is uh, not bad, you know. Again, you're not going to see this, so nothing to worry about, really. Um, right. We need to push them down there a minute because they're going to go in their seats in a second. Just need to make sure they're ready. They're ready. We need to get our top um, ready. We've got some dried glue and super glue in there. If you just squeeze it, the top, and you should hear it crack. And just get a pair of old tweezers. And there it goes, it comes out. Yep, excellent. That's your old glue done with. Uh, then you just need your new super glue. Uh, did I get one out last time? I don't think so. So we'll just get a new glue out. In fact, um, we'll just use some of this. Probably way too much there, but this stuff's going off, I think, so it won't be long before it's had it. The cap's already broke on it, so leave that over there for now. And then I need my little tool I've got for applying it. Now then, so let's just, because this seat is going to cover this seam line up, actually, Getting a lot on here, really. It looks like I'm putting a lot on, but yeah. there we go. That's one done. We'll uh, put the snake bite leather on shortly when I've. Um, Picking it up. Come on. Let's try that. That should be enough, hopefully. There we go, we've got it in. Okay, it clicks in quite nicely, so that's them three there. Um, now I'm just going to pause for a second while I go and find the um, uh, snake bite lever. So I've got some of my um, uh, Citadel paints here and the 
snake bite leather is in here. Let's bring this up a little bit so you can see. Uh, just got to find the damn thing though. Um, oh, look at that first one. Um, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to see when the colour settles. So, you know. But this one's okay. So, let's give this a good shake. A good shake. Let me take that, unplug that phone from the computer so that it doesn't do anything it shouldn't. And then what we'll do is we'll just brush this on. Um, I love this stuff. Uh, I know lots of people have various opinions on it, uh, but I actually like it. And really, I just want to try and get around the belt. Um, it will... It will kind of... Um, spread everywhere onto the seat, but I am going to try and at least... Uh, let's get that. In there, it's going to be quite difficult, but I'll give it a go. I haven't got the steadiest of hands. So, I mean, I could dry brush some silver over the ends there to for the clips but um, I honestly don't think it's I mean I, to be honest I don't think it's worth going this far um, but and we'll just do that seat rest there as well, we'll put that we'll darken that a bit more there we go There we go. So, not great, but from a distance it might pass. Well, when I say from a distance. There we go. Yep. That's going to be good enough for me. Make sure that is clean. Yep. Leave that there. Right. So now we're finished with that. Now then, there was uh, little pieces had to go on to the um, control panel, as I reckon. There were two little tiny clips. Now, did I cut them off, or did I leave them on because they were so... Oh, yes, I left them off. Thank God for that, I thought I might have lost them. Um, right, uh... No, didn't lose them, but the sprue clippers are buried here somewhere. There they are, underneath all that. Right. So where are they? There they are. Very tiny pieces. I didn't want to take them off because they were. Um, there they are, number twenty-five. Um, Again, because these have had paint put on, I 
we'll be using super glue to attach them. Right, so I just need to have a close look at them. So that's the Joy, uh, looks like it could be flight controller and they go up on the back end there I see right so first things first let us get some what I need is a little bit of blue tack just to hold that top steady Sorry if I'm out of view at the moment, just while I get this. One in there. Right. We've got one on there. I just need to... Let me zoom this back out. There we go. Right. And the autofocus needs to be adjusted a bit, I think. Maybe not. There we go. Um, glue's just... So I think I need to replace the little needles I've made for the picking up the, the glue. So basically just got a sewing needle and cut it. Um, the trouble is once the glue dries you just got to clear it. Um, easily done with the lighter away from any um, what's it substances. There we go. I'm just burning off the super glue that's um, dried around the end of that needle and I'm going to do the same this side now and we'll put a glue in there I don't know is that gone in sure I pick this up and it doesn't go pinging off so I'm just trying to do this so far away from me both our flight control sticks on right um, seats together flight control sticks are on now we just need to make sure I've got everything in there right that's there so now we need to put our okay our flight control panel make sure there's nothing harmful on here because we don't want to destroy this uh, lovely decal we've put in I'm hold it from the top and just give it a quick fit to make sure it goes right which is beautiful that fits lovely there um, 
actually. Yeah, that goes on really nice. So now we will again because the surface this has been primed and Tamiya and other solvent glues will make an absolute mess of um, lost uh, flight stick oh, no. we've lost there it is okay we've got to put that back on um, I don't know how is it be easier to take it off or that have got the bend in them and I bet I can't find them there, there they go, there they go that angle Push that in there, right. Okay. There we go. If I can bring that a bit forward, it might not be so difficult to work at that level. Yeah, that's better. Should have done that at the beginning, right. So that's our control panel on, which is brilliant, um, and our seats are together. So next we're looking, I think we're putting the seats in, um, yeah, the seats are going to go in, um, along with the number 3B, which I'm just checking, I think we only need one, yeah, just uh, it's a decal. Um, have these ready. Number 3B is it's a little silver control panel. Um, now I've got to find uh, the knife, which again is buried. Buried, there it is. Make sure that's 3A, and that's 2, that's 3A. I just need to make sure I've got it right. That's 3A, and that's 3B, right. Okay. Take that off of there. Now 
Now then, just have a look at that. Uh, do we get any indication of which way around this is going to go? Yes, we do. The silver panel to the back. Just going to give that a dip in some water. Um, that looks a bit odd for some reason. The decal looks bigger than the... Okay. The decal looks bigger than the area it's going on. Right, so there's nothing we can do about that. that decal a little bit are we moving yet yes we are Offering up the decal, um, let me double check, white first, so that, oh, damn it, white first and then proceeded to put it on the wrong way around right, there we go that's on uh, just check the audio and everything is still going I've already had a few mishaps this morning where I've had to re-record so I don't really want any more and there you go there's our Next decal on. <laughs> That's on. Leave that there. Let's just see. So the seats are going in next, and um, these. I literally, yeah, I don't want to put them the wrong way around. Um, let's try the fit there. Now then, how far down do they go? Do they, do they click in all the way? Yeah, they're supposed to go all the way down to... Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, they're not coming out. Uh, that, that, I know that's a dry fit, but uh, that's definitely, they don't seem to... They don't seem to come out at all. Right, and this one? So, just make sure that... in that one's it is out a bit too much there we go and I don't know if I can see them from beneath no well, I think that might be them there so we're just going to um, they don't really need it but it you know just I think that's them unless that's just uh... I don't 
don't know, might not be. Okay, I'm not, not quite sure, to be honest. Right, so there's our cockpit so far. Um, uh, not quite accurate, <laughs> as uh, I'm sure many people will point out. But um, there we go. Right. So we're going on now. We've got our other uh, instrument panels need to be put out. So we're looking for pieces two two sixties. Um, no, sorry, C23, C24, C11, and C10, 11, and 24. And they all need their C11, 10, there we go, there's 10 and 11. and 11 and C23 and 24 which are they're gonna be tiny teeny tiny pits there they are um, so what you can do one of the things you can do if you're not sure on the coloring um not the coloring sorry if you're not once you've cut them off you don't want to forget which number they are, is what I'm trying to say. So just getting it a bit. So that one was 24. So if you've got a rule or something, you can put it there like that, and then put number 23 there as long as you don't lose it. Or if you've got a whiteboard or a bit of paper, you can double-sided tape and write 23 and 24 and stick them on there like that um, loads of different ways you can do this so this is number 23 and these will get um, tidied up to have now I've got that sounded off I just need to figure out how these go so this is number 23 this is going on the right hand side and these are number 60 in colour um, now I haven't checked that colour out yet, um, I don't think, so I'm just going to very quickly check what colour number 23 is. 60 and it is red scarlet red full there we go um 
Now then, I'm going to put these on. I can paint these once they're on if I, if I want to, but to be honest, um, if I said you're not going to see them, you're definitely not going to see what's on the seat behind them. But, just bear with me a second. Um, I'm just trying to There's something uh, not quite I've got them around the wrong way let me try that. Aha! Right. So, that's them on. I am, however, going to paint these um, because it's the red tank on the back of the seat. Just to, you know, just to give it a little bit of detail. Uh, where's my glue gone? There it is. Come on, give me it. And this time I'm just going to use oh, a little bit too much there. A tiny bit of tet on there. And I'm going to do the same with this one. If I can get it in with my fat fingers which are numb by the way got no feeling in my fingers turn it round and have it the other way and see whether that's a better fit oh damn it dropped it Yes, that is a better fit. Okay, right. Let's put that on. I don't think anything got on there. There we go. Right. Now then, as it's going to be easier to put these on before or after they're glued on let's take rid of that and there's the knife we've got a little nub on here which is definitely going to get in the way of the uh, Oh wow, this blade is like super dull. Um, we're going to definitely need to change that. Not sure how it's got so bad. Right. Same this side. Yeah, on there. Right. So, let's just have a look how these go. Now I'm assuming the curve 
is... Oh, right. Okay. So, uh, apologies for that. The uh, headset just went dead on me. The, the batteries, uh, the charge in it had run out. Um, I thought I'd got enough in there, but I haven't. Um, we've obviously been running for a lot longer than I expected. I got a bit carried away with doing all this. Um, wanted to actually get a fair bit of building in done for folks on Patreon. So, um, I tell you what, I think we've, at that point, because we've done quite a bit, we'll stop there. Um, it's it's looking really nice. We've got um, you know not accurate but nice. Um, still quite a bit to do. We've still got the uh, control panels to do on either side. Um, we'll definitely get that done next time. Um, I might get that done outside of the build just so that we can move on um, and then we'll be looking at putting the seats at the back the little crew ladder um, and then that will when that's finished off we'll be assembling the front nose um, so yeah I really wanted to push ahead today but um, a few things have got in the way I've had to record stuff a couple of times so um, anyway thanks for watching uh, hope you're still enjoying it don't forget uh, on alternate weeks to this we've got the F114B F FW14B uh, Formula One build which is coming along really nicely uh, I've shown this before but that's where we're at at the moment it's starting to turn out really nice um, and yeah, lots more plans, so stick with us, don't forget, try and uh, encourage, I don't know, uh, fellow modelers and that to come and have a look, and um, I'll see you all next time, bye for now.